channel so in today's session we'll discuss about a small topic in automata theory that is e closure or epsilon closure so in the previous session we have discussed about the nfa and nfa with epsilon so uh, we have seen the differences between the dfa and nfa and there we have seen one point that is a practically the nfa with epsilon is uh, not feasible so that we have to convert the nfa to dfa so for the practical implementation so for that purpose, we are supposed to find this E closure or the epsilon closure. So, what is meant by this epsilon closure? So, this epsilon closure is so this epsilon closure will be finding for each and every state, and this is a set of states, a set of states that are rich, that are a rich. from the state some q on epsilon moves so that means the state with the epsilon transitions will be considered as a e closure or epsilon closure and this will be the set of states and definitely there will be a null transitions or a self transition for the every state so there will be one epsilon transition for every state for example here q naught so we can see 0 so by default it will be an epsilon transition here also q1 by default it will be a epsilon transition and here also by default it will be a epsilon transition and also here q0 on epsilon it will be in the self state right so for every state the self transition will be the epsilon right now we need to find the epsilon closure for these things so these are the few examples now we'll find the epsilon closure for each and every state for each and every diagram so once again i'm repeating the definition epsilon closure is a set of states that are reached from the state q state q on epsilon moves so we are we are supposed to find this epsilon closure for each and every state for example let us take the example this one so epsilon closure epsilon closure of q naught epsilon closure of q naught is so, as I have said that every state will be having the self transition on epsilon. So, first one will be the q0 and we need to find the epsilon transition from q0 to the number of states. So, you can see q0 from q0 there is an epsilon transition of q1 and again q1 is having an epsilon transition of q2. So, that's why q0, q1 and a q2. So, all these three comes under this epsilon closure of q0. So, set of states that are reached from Q, that are reached from Q on epsilon moves. So Q1 can reach on epsilon move from Q0 and Q2 can also reach uh, from the Q0 with an epsilon moves, right? So that's why we have, we have written like this. And now let us find out the epsilon closure of Q1. So as I have said, this epsilon closure will be calculated for each and every states, right? Now Q0 is completed, now Q1. Coming to the Q1, as I have said, there is a self transition with an epsilon, so Q1, and from Q1 you can see the epsilon moves. That is a Q2. So Q2, it can, I mean, if you, the process can reach a Q2 with the epsilon move on Q1. So Q1 comma Q2. So set of states that are reached. Set of states that are reached. Q1 can reach and Q2 can reach from the state Q on epsilon moves. Right. Next, epsilon closure of q2 the third one q2 so self transition will be there and from q2 is there any epsilon transitions there is no epsilon transitions on q2 so only one state will be the epsilon transition i mean epsilon closure epsilon closure so hope you understood these are the states that that are reached from the state q that means a q naught that are from q naught on epsilon move so q naught with epsilon move it can reach to q naught q1 and q2 so q1 with epsilon moves it can reach to q1 q2 q2 on epsilon moves it can reach only q2 because so every state will be having the self transition on epsilon so i hope you understood this so i uh, hope you have got an idea about how to calculate the epsilon closure now we'll find this one epsilon closure epsilon closure of q0 so you can see epsilon closure of q0 
So right on the epsilon moves. So on from Q0, is there any epsilon moves? There is no epsilon moves. So the self will be default. Self will be default. And again, the second one, epsilon closure of Q1. And now we have to find the state which are reached, which are uh, going to be reached from the state Q0 with the epsilon move. From Q1, you can see the first Q1 will be there. And apart from this Q1, there is an epsilon move to Q0. So Q0, comma, there is an another epsilon move that is Q2. So this is the epsilon closure. This is the epsilon closure for Q1. And next, epsilon closure of Q2. So automatically Q2 will be there. And apart from this Q2, is there any trans epsilon transition uh, over uh, Epsilon, I mean, epsilon transition for Q2, there is no epsilon transition for Q2, so that it is a self. And again, uh, go to the epsilon closure of Q3. So, epsilon closure of Q3, is there any transition for uh, epsilon? So, is there any tra epsilon transition from Q3? So, there is no epsilon transition from Q3. So, that's why it will be Q3 only. Q3 only, right? So, these are the Epsilon closures for the following states Q0, Q1, uh, Q2, and Q3. Right? Now, let us take this one. So, epsilon closure of 1. Epsilon closure of 1. So, epsilon closure on 1, you can see the epsilon, epsilon moves from 1, that is. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, uh, 3 and 2 to 6 also. So this is the epsilon closure of 1. And again, epsilon closure of 2. So you can see the epsilon moves from 2. So one possibility is 3 and another possibility is 6. So 2, 3 and 6. And similarly, epsilon closure of 3, you can observe. So what are the states that can be reached from 3 with epsilon move? So from 3, there is no epsilon transition. So 3 itself will be the epsilon state. Okay, closure. Epsilon closure of 4. Epsilon closure of 4. So there is one transition over 4. four. So 4, comma 5 will be the epsilon closure. 4, comma 5 will be the epsilon closure. And epsilon closure of uh, 5. 5, there is no epsilon transition on 5, so the 5 itself will be the epsilon closure. And here you can see epsilon closure of 6. Epsilon closure of 6. From 6 you can observe. So there is 6, yes. So there is no epsilon transition, right? So this is a directed graph, okay? There is no epsilon transition. So 6 itself is the state. Epsilon closure of 7. Epsilon closure of 7. So from 7 there is a epsilon move to 2. And from 2 it moves to 3. And from 2 it moves to 6. Now you can see 7. 7 to 2. 2 to 3. 2 to 6. So this is the states. These are the states which are reached from 7 on epsilon move. Right? Next. Epsilon closure of 8 you can also observe here from 8 there is an epsilon move to 2 so first 8 2 from 2 it moves to 3 on epsilon on epsilon right from 2 again it moves to 6 on epsilon so these are the epsilon closure for 8 so these are the states that can be reached from 8 on epsilon move right so once again i'm repeating the definition the epsilon closure for a state q is a set of states that are reached from the state Q on epsilon moves. So, hope you understood. We have seen the three examples. These are the three examples how we can find out the E closure. And this will be used in a conversion of NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon. So, we need to convert NFA without epsilon and then we have to convert it to a DFA. So, in order to uh, implement this DFA practically. Right? So, 
hope you understood this one let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this e closure finding the e closure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much